Hi there. Hello and welcome. Uh, this is Agnieszka from AGT Masterclass and today uh, with me I've got uh, my uh, dear friend and colleague uh, Dr. Christian uh, Nikolic. There's one thing I wanted to ask you um, about uh, local and international companies. So um, is it better to be a subtitler for a local company, for like a company that operates only on one uh, market, your national market or whatever market, or is it better to work for international big streaming giants or uh, the companies that they work for? Uh, it's again, this seems to depend on the country. Uh, so um, I think the best uh, thing you can have is to work for <clears throat> directly for a broadcaster in a country where uh, this broadcaster would recognize that you, you, you are an important part of uh, the uh, story of the creation of uh, a translation. So uh, I think that's the case of uh, Norway and working for the public broadcaster. But um, uh, in some cases, it's better to work for international uh, clients if their end clients pay uh, well. But again, if you work for um, an LSP, uh, and even if their end client pays well and the uh, LSP takes, I don't know, 70% of uh, the fee, then of course this is not a good um, a situation. But in general, it seems that it is better to work for international clients. And I would stress not just uh, international clients, but the number of clients that you have. So it's important to uh, have contracts with more than one uh, LSP if you work, for instance, if the end clients are uh, streamers. Mm -hmm.